It's going to be a three-week project. Students are collaborating to build these panels that, when assembled, will be 8 foot by 40 foot long. It's all about problem solving. And we wanted to hit the ground running. The pattern is going to be modeled after dominoes and kinetic energy that's generated by dominoes as they fall. Even if this fails, it's a good learning experience because they learn from uh, the mistakes that they'll make. Solowit was a conceptual artist who would write a set of directions for a group of other artists to interpret in their own way. There would always be a different result to his paintings. And that was the true art of how people followed his instructions. They're getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, but I think it took a few classes uh, to get them to that level where they're not afraid to dive in and, and take risks. It's not the way we pick them up, right? Seriously, not, we don't want to screw this up now, right? Pick it up from the sides like we always have. It's just, it's challenging. I learned that communication is very important and that a couple of people who don't want to communicate can ruin it for a larger group and making those people communicate is important for the success of a uh, group. So everyone needs to be on their toes working on everything because everything needs to be exact. We wanted to make it look exactly the way it was supposed to. and everyone has to communicate well with each other and I think this is a way to bond with classmates and a way to make new friends as well. It's pretty amazing uh, how sophisticated their blog posts are and what they have to say about it. I experimented with it and actually found the life behind the lens to be very intriguing. It's like you have a third eye. I thought it would be something totally different, that's what I thought, but it turned out into something cooler than I thought it would be.